Good evening, boys and girls. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a side trance kick with the Metrum and a side trance lead bass with Serum. I'm just going to use a normal um, saw wave with with Serum just to make it very very easy for you guys. Um, so let's start off with the kick bass. So I'm going to pull my start off with the with the pitcher. I'm going to pull. As we can see, we I'm I'm pulling it around. Um, yeah, uh, chicken. So the I'm gonna start off my pitch, pull the the first leg all the way to the top. I mean, uh, the I'm gonna make the. So yeah, that's um I guess how you make a Cytron song in less than five minutes. Um, let me just show you around what we really went through. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Um. Yeah, uh, mm, uh, chicken, <laughs> whatever. For example, uh, normally side trance kicks are very uh, short and punchy, normally around 160 to 180 milliseconds long. Um, so I'm pulling the third knob here. We can see it's just a normal sine wave that, that it's pulling. I'm not going to add any extra kick uh click kick clicked to the or noise to the space it's going to be a normal sine wave so off to the, the amplifier um normally you pull the the second one down so uh, the volume doesn't take all the bass so you can kind of hear the lead bass pulling in after the the kick bass so it doesn't drown the lead bass um No, we can, yeah, we can hear it's it's still a bit long. and have to shorten it a bit. You can play around with this quite a lot. I mean, you can use any any kind of uh, kick synthesizer for this because I'm just using a normal sound to make it easier for this example. So you guys can use whatever program you want. Just a very short, punchy kick. The normal four four piece kick. Uh, just make sure your BPM is on one thirty eight. I mean, you can use one forty a bit faster than one forty, but I'm for this example, I'm just going to use one thirty eight. Now off to the lead bass. Just a normal sine wave with serum. Just add it to a uh, mixer track. Let's pull the octave down. Just make it a more lower bass I'm just gonna make it a, a very simple pattern because we made my um my kick bass on the g key i'm just going to use the g key for my lead bass as well so the kick flows into the lead bass Now we want to use the filter in Serum to jump all the way down as I click the key. So if I'm all the way up to all the way down, it's going to link it to an envelope. Turn up the attack a bit so you don't hear that super clicky noise change. When things get really fast in Serum, they, they often tend to be kind of unreliable. Um, when it starts off with the with the start clicking and you you changing the envelope to uh, very fast attack. So that's why I move the attack a bit lower. So yeah, um, using gross beats just to to make way for the, the kick. So just to shorten the, I mean, soften the the lead bass all the way down to zero to so we can hear the kick and then we can hear the lead bass afterwards let's make it a little bit louder with the compressor
No, I'm just gonna make the side chain from the kick base to the the lead base. So whenever every time the the kick uh, hits, it sort and pulls the volume down of the lead base. So very simple. I'm just gonna uh, edit the how how the lead bass sounds just with a quick quick equalizer. Um, it's just by uh, I just normally pull the highs and lows down the leads just to get the the residue of of sound so they don't conflict when you when you actually making your mix your entire song. So it doesn't overpower any other sound just to make sure. I mean it doesn't mean that it is going to. I just always um, do it. I mean, obviously, this is um, this is purely by whatever you want to your mix to sound like. This is it's just a general kind of example. I'll show you. I'll I've made a, a short sound song with this um, example that I've made here, just so you guys can hear how the kick bass and the, the lead bass sound uh, in an actual mix, in an actual song. Normally for, for, the, for the lows, we want to make it, make it a very mono. You don't want it to use the stereo at all at lower basses, so you normally pull the, the separation down to, to merge, down to mono with the See, I just use the uh, Maximus just to pull the lowers a bit up and the mids a bit up, so just to make them more pronounced. Now, instead of gross beats, you can use Romero Kick. I mean, it's a very... Uh, some people don't like to use it because they think it's cheating, but I, it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, I sometimes use it when I'm very lazy, but I normally use gross beats or just fully... Uh, the fruity limiter for the side chaining. Uh, mo mostly for my lead bases, I use both the gross beats and the limiter, like I've done in this example for my actual mixes. Okay, now off to the um, side fart. I'm just going to use a normal uh, silent si uh, saw wave for this as well, as you can hear. Um, very very easy to make i'm just gonna pitch it from high to low with an lfo um, so I'll just make sure that's on trigger so it starts off when you push the key from the beginning every time i'm gonna make it a bar long i uh, link the filter to lfo2 and the res to lfo3 um, also just make sure that they're also on trigger so when you push the key it always starts from the beginning of the lfo Obviously, make the res also a trigger and on bar. You can already hear it, it sounds very close to already a sci fi. I mean, very easy to make. Gonna put a phaser on you and a compressor. Uh, just make it louder. Phaser is probably gonna sound very weird. Yeah, when it starts off, but I'll fix that later. some delay on you make sure that's on trip off you can hear how it sounds on
pretty exactly what I'm trying to find to do. Let's see how it sounds all together. And then, uh, yeah, I just let the the bass roll just carry on for like a year, just like every other Psytrance song. So here's an example that I've created um, that we can hear of a key track uh, that it took me like an hour to make. Maybe a bit more. Sure. Have a listen. Thanks a lot guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't enjoyed this video, um, comment on why you didn't like this video.